All right, guys, welcome to the video. Um, I got a pretty special video for you guys today. We're going to be playing Nowhere, Michigan, which is kind of like a abstract, artsy, bizarre game. It's made by Johnny Fever Dream. He made Peeves Adventure, which is kind of like a game... Seems like it takes inspirations from uh, Crypt Worlds. If you don't know what Crypt Worlds is, it's kind of like a drug-induced psychosis game. That's how I would describe it. It's like basically going into like an artistic psychosis or developing dementia, adult dementia. So it'll be fun. Uh, I'm excited to play this. I've never played this. I haven't touched it. I. I think I saw somebody else play it. I didn't watch very much. This is going to be blind. And yeah, I'll be fine. It's something different. Not my huge. James, where are you going? You're not seriously. I, you're going to look for Alex, aren't you? Oh my God. I don't want to read this. I made Alex leave. It's my fault that this happened in the first place. I need to make it right. Nothing justifies what happened. I need to find Alex. James, please don't. I'm going to be fine, Mom. Alex and I will be back before Thanksgiving. I promise. It's almost Thanksgiving now. Whoa. This game is crazy. This game, like, looks crazy. Okay, so we're here. Uh, I guess this is my car. We're in Nowhere Crossing. This game is really pretty. Um, I love that they chose Michigan and the Midwest as the setting for this game because the Midwest is very bizarre and I would almost call it the Russia of the United States. This is supposed to be kind of like a Metroidvania game. I didn't really see a whole lot of the Let's Play I was watching, so... I guess let's just see how it goes. Hello, I am local. You are looking for your brother. Yeah, I haven't seen him. Sorry. Not everyone has useful stuff to say, you know. You should learn to, like, pick and choose what matters from what people say. What? <laughs> God, this music is so loud. Let me, hang on one sec. Let me turn it down a little bit. For the love of God. There we go. That guitar is blowing my ears out. Confiscating mushrooms from nearby citizens. Report any truffles to the local authorities. The officer suddenly snaps out of his daze and looks at you. You're looking for your brother. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. What are you staring at me for? It's not my job to find missing people. What, you thought because my full name is police officer that I have to help you? That's a good point. Um, this game is crazy looking. It almost, this game's like hurting my eyes. Oh, little mushroom guy. Deep within the woods I sleep upon my rotten wood heap. Though nasty, gross, and slimy seem, I tickle my flaps and my spores will fly. Deep within the woods I sleep upon my rotten wooden heap. Though nasty, gross, and slimy seem, I tickle my flaps and my spores will fly. Did I read that twice? Apparently I'm getting adult onset dementia. God, this, this music. For the love of God, man. Like, turn this shit down. There we go. The music is so abrasive. Reporting back to base. Enemy combat and suppress. This bush won't be hurting anyone anymore. Okay. I keep, I keep double clicking on stuff. Oh, a newcomer to our humble little town. Wonderful. My name is Wizardo the Average. I'm the town wizard. 
Oh, you want me to cast a spell? Well, um, I'm not that kind of wizard. <laughs> it's more of an honorary title. Anyway, you're looking for your brother, right? Yes, I saw it all with my scrying orb. And no, I don't know where he is. My orb broke. Yes, orbs can break. It happens all the time. I'm sorry I can't help you, but I can give you some sage advice. Thank you for the sage advice. See that drinking fountain with a rainbow coming out of it? That's a save point. It's a veritable fountain of you. <laughs> save your progress and you can never die. I'm, I'm struggling to talk here. <laughs> my, my reading comprehension is going down as I play this game. Yes, nobody can die here. It's strange, isn't it? You just make a save and then you experience quantum immortality when you die. It's horrifying. Wow, okay. I guess we'll save. I didn't think this game would have saves. All right. Yeah, we'll save. Cool. So this game is a Metroidvania, allegedly. I don't know how much combat and like actual gameplay is gonna be in this game, but we'll see. Keep an eye out for my brother's civilian. They are raising the grounds for truffles of untold value. Okay. Oh, a clown. Hong Kong Boo Boo the Fool here to report that this is the official Nowhere Clown Corner. What was once an ordinary patch of grass is now the eminent domain of me, Boo Boo the Clown. Honk honk. Clown smiles at you excitedly, eyes sparkling with unbound joy. You resist the violent urge to hit the clown. That's not very nice. I would never hit a clown. Another cop. Contemplating the fungus, please report any truffles to your local authorities. These characters look really cool. This is very crypt worldy. Crypt, crypt. Very crypt worldy. Crypt, crypt worldsy. Crypt Worlds is a really good game. It's one of my faves. Ah! This tower brings warmth to my cold monkey heart. All right, I guess we'll go in. Man, this game is crazy looking. Let me adjust the music again. I don't feel like it needs to be that low, but it was killing me. That guitar riff was blowing my ears out. I'm like already pretty, I'm already struggling to hear things. I don't need to make it worse. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like hurting my eyes. Oh, how quaint and pretty. Grand Library Junction. Okay, well, I don't know. Wait, let me... Was it anything? Okay. All right. This game is like Crypt Worlds. It almost has like a Crypt Worlds, like, Earthbound vibe to it. Like it's, you know... Michigan, like an LSD trip, Michigan, but first person with weird characters. Oh, press a mid air to perform a double jump. Oh, hello again. Good to see you. Or er, James, was it? Well, I seem to be in quite the pickle. I say that unironically. <laughs> I unironically say I'm in quite the pickle. My wife, Esmeralda, the great, hasn't been particularly thrilled with one of my hobbies, which is happens to be candy collection. Okay. And, uh, well, let's just say I had a certain bar of chocolate called Schlarp Crunch TM and she threw it out. Oh God. I wish I had my delicious chocolate bar. Ugh. All right. I'll get some candy. I'll get this guy's candy for him, I guess. Esmeralda. I, there's a woman I used to work with that I... It, that wasn't her name, but I would accidentally call her Esmeralda. Whoa! Down below is my infamous monkey pit. I keep all of my bastard monkeys down there where they can't hurt anyone. That's nice. Oh, this is the monkey pit. This could definitely be interpreted the wrong way. Eek, eek, I love Leaf. So much fun with Leaf. Okay. 
Eek, eek. Okay. Leaf again. Leaf. Yes, the leaf is so good. What's this? Strange house. Okay. Can I get in here? No. This soundtrack's really good, though. I like the, uh... I don't know how to describe the music. The guitar. There's like a little people. It's like a little village. Little, little people village. Okay. Ook, ook, ook. I'm afraid of heights. Get me down, please. Ah. Sorry, buddy. Okay. We got a key. What's in here? Oh. Was I supposed to do that? Okay, maybe not. Hopefully I didn't just lock myself out of that area. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's see. I like this double jump. I should go to the library. This music's tripping me out. The game also kind of looks like Cruelty Squad. Cruelty Squad's another game I really liked. Um, didn't really do any content on Cruelty Squad. I wasn't making content when that game came out, so never really got to make a video on it, sadly. I really liked Cruelty Squad, though. It was like my game of the year 2021. This vending machine is quietly humming all by itself. It doesn't appear to be plugged in, but it works nonetheless. Have just one bar of Schlarp Crunch. Looks like someone tried to buy it, but ran out of money. Just 25 cents short of the total bill. I wish I had a quarter. What a shame. Ah, uh, maybe, eventually. Man, this game is trippy. What do we got here, a coffin? Shush, she's sleeping. Okay. Alright. Nowhere Crossing. I just realized the name is Nowhere Crossing. Oh, I need a key. Okay. Local big juicy ass. I sat on a bumblebee and now I have the most sumptuous ass in the entire town. All men envy me and all women want to be me. Okay. Me too. Officers have a great sense of smell for both crime and truffles, the latter of which they are bred to search for in damp forests. Thanks for talking to me. Okay. Later. Let's check the library out again, because I think I might be able to get, I might be able to get up here. I may not. Oh, got up. Watch out, y'all. Oh, watch out. Platforming master over here. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man, it's not my fault. Please don't fire me. Please don't. Oh, great. What? I guess I'll save here. Yeah. Sorry the route's closed. We had a bit of an incident with one of our poltergeists, and it decided to blow the whole entrance up. If we had some mining equipment, we could break through, but it's all trapped in the mines. If you brought something that could destroy these rocks, I'm sure you could get in. All right. A little bit of foreshadowing there. So we got a red key, but it doesn't really seem like, oh God, I don't want to be back in, okay, okay. Oh, I guess I'll go up there. I didn't notice that over there. All right, um, 
Oh, this is where the clown was. A monkey. Ooh, ooh, I am feeling vaguely sexual at this moment. Commencing mating operations, stand by. Okay. Me too. I like to stand near this really scary building. I don't know what's in there, but the mayor sealed it with some kind of weird energy barrier. The energy barrier makes me high when I'm around it. I haven't told any of the other officers yet. It's my little secret. Please don't tell them about my energy barrier life hack. It's the only thing I get to have myself on this bitch of an earth. Okay, agreed, I agree. All right. Why did you unlock the barrier, you idiot? You ruined my high. Sorry, pal. <sighs> okay, so we're here in the slumber district. Um, you'll break all your fingers and don't operate the vending machine. Just kidding. Anyway, this vending machine is going to stock various sodas. One strange item casts your eye, a vial with a heart inside it. It's the sleeping district? It's like a club. It's like a nightclub. Whoa, man. Welcome to the slumber district. Disembodied philosopher. I'm at my wicks end standing here all the time. You should have seen how dark this place was before I got the job. Let's keep the banter light. I gotta stay on guard. Sometimes in the heat of the moment, I imagine myself as an even bigger flame. A little bit of advice, play it cool up ahead. Okay. Whoa. Key, 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 whoop. Welcome to my home, I eat, I love meat. Oh. Is, this, is that what this is? Are we in meat right now? Oop, oop, ah, I'm stuck, ah, sorry. You can really tell that this game is a lot like Crip World. I'm seeing a lot of Crip World like references in this game. Oh. Daring like a deer in Hellas. You get the impression it wants you to use Venge to ask us to vein above you for some reason. Wait, what? It wants me to do what? Venge to access? Is that. Hang on. Upgrades. Okay, so it's doing okay. Okay. Equipped. Okay. How do I use how do I use it? I have Oh, you right click. Okay, that's weird. Whoa. Where are we? I love vending machines. If you quietly look at the vending machines, they all seem to be broken. Okay. I don't know. You get to buy this little creature wants you to know that vending streams are on one way. No going back. Okay. You stare intently at the centerpiece of this room. The fountain feels nervous. Malicious entity feels embraced. Five plus two intimidation. Okay. Probably shouldn't go down there. Whoa. This is crazy. Oh. This room, this looks like a vaporwave album. I feel like I'm in a Vaporwave album cover. The Hell Diver regards you shyly. A pair of glowing red eyes flicker nervously behind its visor before it bends down to adjust its weight belt. Okay. I guess we can just swim, huh? What is this? Morning cube, it's a living. Okay. Water now. Um, Chief, we've uncovered some strange sarcophagus. It seems the agents used quarters to open these humph, whatever that is. 
We find a quarter, bring it here, and let's give her a shot. Just hand it to me and I'll take care of the rest. Okay. Is he talking about the vending machine? The birthplace of all hell divers. You suddenly recall various facts about this species. Despite their ominous appearance, hell divers are timid, a timid species and spend much of their time quietly collecting rare resources underwater. Their amorphous colonial bodies are well suited to intense pressure. They can survive as deep as the gulch depths where they reach their natural limit. Despite being a colonial species, hell divers identify themselves as individuals. They get they they revert back to their community mindset when heavily damaged though. Hell diver reproduction occurs through a partial fragmentation forming an amalgam. Multiple divers can contribute to an amalgam to diversify its genetics. Hell divers will form mating bonds with multiple members in order to protect their amalgam until maturation, at which point more hell divers are born. Hell divers have a relatively short lifespan of 50 years, but pass down pieces of their memory to their offspring. Some memories can be thousands of years old. Oh my, how many more facts do we have to read here? Okay. Well, customize their bodies to stand out. These same divers tend to bomb with humans easier. Okay, thanks. It's really funny that these, like, guys... Oh, night. How would you like to be a knight? Just climb on in and fill me up. Don't be shy. That's right. Stretch out my rivets. Can't be serious. This guy's got to be joking. Can I get out of here? No? Okay. The letter stands awkwardly in the corner, trying with some strange relic you found on the ground. It stops to quietly stare at you. You continue watching the Helldiver. It feels unnerved and begins shifting its weight from side to side. Finally, the Helldiver musters the courage to say something to you. Hello? <laughs> Feeling anxious, it begins hastily fiddling with its relic to calm itself down. Okay. Hello? That reminds me of that Barack Obama meme. I'll have to throw that up. Um, hi. Hello. Um, hi. The Helldiver seems too stiffened up as it approaches. After deciding that you're probably not a threat, it begins to relax. Welcome to Hell, Michigan. This is our homeland. Hope you like it. Hell, Michigan. Whoa, was I supposed to do that? Oh, I died. I didn't know you could die in this. Was I supposed to? I wasn't supposed to do that. I just killed myself and didn't spawn. Oh, okay. Alright, I got the key. Cool. Hell, Michigan. Looks pretty cool. Oh, this vending machine looks strange. A label proudly announces to the machine as a vendor of exotic treats. Actually, on closer inspection, you realize that the machine is stocked with candy and drinks you've never seen before. International exports? One thing causes your eyes to violently bulge out of your head. A unique flavor of sharp crunch you've never seen before. Yes, it looks like a German exclusive version of Schlarp Crunch Cookie Madness. Wow. You see a held eye there with a strange attachment that flippers about looking up and it regards you. See all that water? It's actually hell ether. It's where all hell divers first spawn from. Only hell divers can swim in it without sinking to the bottom. You need a special pair of augmented flippers to navigate the water safely. I wear a pair because it's my job to drag people who've fallen in back to the surface. Without the flippers, you folks would be too heavy to carry. Okay. Oh. Scuba Steve, my job is hell, haha. <laughs> Just kidding, I love my job. I like being out here. Please don't tell the hell divers I made a joke about their home. They'd be really upset. Whoa, look at this guy. 
Strange baby-like entity. Do you like my mysteries? I'm trying to figure out why my head won't stop growing. <laughs> yeah. That's a mood right there. My brain, my, my head's hurting playing this game. I believe in the an afterlife, Chief. It's it, it, I be, I believe in an afterlife, Chief. It interests me greatly. I'm looking for hell truffle. Some say it's the most valuable truffle to all, worth 1,000 gold. The hell truffle, huh? Okay, that looks like a thing. Atheist clown. With that, let the 27th annual afterlife debate begin. All right, candidates, let's hear your opening statements. Let's not. Um, what's in here? I love sewer. Am I gonna die if I go there? No. Okay. Uh, let's actually check this one thing out really quick, because I think I can. I think I can go up here. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. I just noticed that, so might as well check it out. Whoa! I know it's a hot take, but war is bad. Anyway, thanks for coming and talking to me. I've unlocked a secret somewhere in the world for you. Thanks. This game is really pretty. 360 no scope. Okay. We'll see if there's any more, like, teleporting things. Okay, that's it. Alright, um, I guess let's go into the sewer. See what we can see. Ooh, spooky. What the fuck? We're back here? Oh, we got the key. That's right. Okay. I'm really digging this game. It's very Crypt Worlds. Very very much Crypt Worlds, but that's not a bad thing. I've always wanted more Crypt Worlds ever since I first played it. I actually didn't play Peeb's Adventure. I missed out on that one. I don't know why. I think I just... Never bother to play it. What's in here? It's a new door. What the fuck is going on? What did I just walk into? Uh oh. I don't know about this. What? Is, what? What's happening in here? Oh my god! Welcome to my chamber. Welcome to my chain. This is your chamber? Bro, what the fuck? That's like a guy with a thing coming out of his mouth. Yeah, really nice place, man. How do I leave? Oh, God. What is that? Is that like a... I don't know. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's Peebs. Oh. Peeb has no practical use, but it was nice to rescue him. Peeb shivers slightly. You carefully scoop him up and put him in your briefcase. Okay. Okay, so we got Peeb. That was horrifying. Man, that was that was something else, I must say. What the hell? Alright. Moving on along. Moving along. You gotta work on my double jumps. There's another game that looks like this that has this art style that's like a Oblivion clone. I don't remember the name of it. I'll have to buy it. It looks really good. All right, so we're in the garden. It's kind of a spooky looking garden. Wow. Damn. Eek, eek, eek. Ow. Welcome to the Scuba Steve guided tour of the garden. Come see our gift shop. Man, this is crazy looking. 
Probably don't want to fall down there. Watch your step, haha. No, seriously, the rock below us is highly toxic and you'll die if you fall in. Okay. Oh, there we go. I gotta I gotta work on these jumps. There we go, that was pretty good. Okay. Oh man. Some of these jumps are hard to make. No, it's not that they're hard to make, it's just like the timing has to be just right. There we go. No, what the fuck? A few moments later. I'm loving this platforming. I love platforming in games. It's my dude. Come on. Okay. I got this. Bro, come the fuck on. How should how should I do this? Maybe I should. No. I was getting it before. Now I'm like. Okay, there, I got it that time. All right. All right, get ready, guys. I'm gonna pull it off this time. Oh, I did it! Nerve blooms are an essential bottom feeder in our ecosystem. Their central ganglia can can be harvested and used in salads. Okay. I need, I need to make this one. I can't miss this one. I don't wanna do this over again. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh! Watch out. Okay. Again, I cannot miss this. I'm going to freak out. Oh, man. Have you seen a nerve cradle before? They're what these delicate, meaty plants are trying to grow into. They have mouths for filter feeding, presumably. Okay. This is a freaky ass garden. Glad you could make it. This cradle's mouth is wide open. It's presently emitting a smell like fresh veins. How horrible. Anyway, I'll see you inside. Oh, we're going in? Okay. I don't really want to go in. All right. Wow. This music really brings this game together. It's very uh, mystical. I wonder if there's gonna be combat in this game. Oh, is that a gun? Yeah. Hello. What? There's no way. Who are you? You can talk? I said, who are you? I'll shoot, whoa. Hold on, my name is James. What the fuck are you? I don't really, I don't remember anything. I think my name is Concord. Alright, let's just calm down. Don't shoot me, please. Uh, I'll just put you back down now. I need to keep looking for my brother. My brother, what does he look like? Uh, his name's Alex. He's kind of tall. Got a lean body. Long curly hair. I don't really know how to explain it. He kind of just looks like an Alex. Alex, that sounds familiar. I think I've seen that guy before. Wait, did you... Did he say why he came to nowhere? Did he tell you where he was going? Was he okay? I don't remember. I can barely remember anything. I can relate to that. Oh God, what do I do? What do I do? Look, I need to keep moving. It's urgent. I don't have time to talk with an am amnesic gun. Wait, can you bring me with you? I can't move on my own. I really don't want to stay here. I mean, look around. Please take me with you. I can help you. Well, I guess more help can hurt, so... Your gun, do you like shoot bullets or something? Yeah, well, I... What the hell? <laughs> uh, boss fight. Holy shit. Okay, Concord allows you to pick it up. Watch out, guys. my health. I can't believe there's combat in this.
Rest in peace. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that thing? I don't know. We're gonna have to fight more of those things, aren't we? Only one way to find out. Let's go find your brother. What? That was the demo? Man, I was like really enjoying that. Well, we can only hope that this game comes out sooner uh that was cool though I, I enjoyed that well this is gonna be a short video i guess all right guys thanks for watching